Praise the Lord. Oh, man. I know you guys are like, what in the world am I looking at? Well, we'll get to it in a few seconds. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, I did not get a chance to preach today because of some uh, complications that um, thankfully we got situated. But I'll be preaching next Sunday. So I thank you guys for your prayers anyhow. But since I'm not preaching today, I said, no, you know what? Um, while I'm out riding, let me do a quick video um, pertaining to what you're looking at is a beaver dam. This is a beaver dam. Um, I don't know if you know anything about beaver dam. Some of you may, some of you may know what a beaver is. It's basically a, a rodent. It's almost like a huge rat <laughs> that lives in the water and they build dams to stop up the water. This is a creek. This is a creek that runs alongside uh, where I live and they have the water dammed up. It's backed up. The water is backed up because of their dam here and they use trees they use mud they, they use leaves um, they use grass they use anything that they can strategically place here where the water will stop its normal flow so there's stagnation oh, oh my god and there's a snake <laughs> oh wow while I'm doing the video um, stagnation on this side of the water it causes trees to die and a whole bunch of other things but I have come out here several times and torn this dam down but it never ceases that the next day I come out here and look they have built the dam right back up as if I never touched it. I'm talking, you see this right here? This is a pile of the trash that I've pulled out of the water. Let me get down low. It's a pile of trash that I've pulled out of the water there on the side of the, the, the bank of the, the creek. And like I said, they cut down trees. They'll bite the trees, cut them down, and drag them down the creek and line them up like you see all of those trees and limbs there in the water they like to they like to to skin the bark off of them get them nice and clean i mean huge they use huge things huge pieces of wood but it dawned on me you know i was looking at this work that they do and how persistent they are um in building these dams and i said you know what we as believers, <laughs> glory to God, need to be persistent in our walk with the Lord. We need to be persistent in our endeavors for the Lord, just like these beavers. See, come hell or high water, they're going to get back out here and build this dam up. And see, we know the enemy, hallelujah, yeah, I guess in this case, the beaver is the enemy. The enemy <laughs> is constantly throwing things in our path to try and distract us, to try and keep us from fulfilling our purpose. But as believers, we have to depend totally upon the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, to empower us, to give us the strength, glory to God, to overcome those obstacles, to have strength to continue kingdom building, hallelujah, we, as the scripture says, we must be, oh, hallelujah. All right, help me, Holy Ghost. We must be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, hallelujah, in the work of the Lord, knowing that our labor is not in vain. I know that on this Christian journey, sometimes we can get to looking at uh, other people and how they're living their lives. And it, it seems like they're prospering. And here we are trying to do the work of the Lord. And it seems like everything is going wrong. But see, we have to understand that as a believer, there's always going to be opposition. Hallelujah. But we have to know within ourselves that no matter the opposition, hallelujah, 
that we have the victory through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm preaching out here at a beaver dam. Glory to God. But we have to be persistent in our walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to be persistent, glory to God, in doing what God has called us to do because we'll never know who we may, glory to God, touch, who life we may touch if we're being persistent. Hallelujah. In our walk with the Lord. Just our life living is a witness to the unbeliever. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But yeah, I, I, we, we, we definitely want to stay encouraged in spite of the obstacles that we face in life. We want to stay encouraged no matter what may come. We're, we're in some trying times now. I know a lot of people, are, you know, they've lost their jobs. There's no income. Uh, there may be people with health failing and uh, all types of things that are going on right now. But if you can just continue to walk by faith, hallelujah, and not by sight. If you can just continue to lean on Jesus, hallelujah, during this time, glory to God. Be persistent in the faith. Don't let the enemy... Steal your faith. Continue to trust in Jesus. Hallelujah. Though things may not be in your favor right now, trust and believe that your life living is not in vain. Your labor, hallelujah, is not in vain. Your standing is not in vain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So keep encouraged. Hallelujah. In the Lord. Because he is your strength. Hallelujah. He is our strength. Holy Spirit is our strength. In such a time as this. Hallelujah. And for the record. Hallelujah. I cut down a couple of trees myself. And I made a path through here. Because sometime or another. I'm going to get the back hole. <laughs> See the beavers. The beavers thought that they won. Because I hadn't torn it down in a couple of days. But they thought that they won. But I'm going to get the back hole from work. And I'm going to tear this thing down and they're going to know who's boss. Hallelujah, Jesus, my God. But anyway, I pray that you guys be encouraged. Be persistent in your walk with the Lord because he sees your heart. He knows that you're trying. Hallelujah. And though you may want to give up, God is not going to give up on you. He's not going to fail. He's not going to fail you. He cannot fail you. So trust and know, hallelujah, that God is for you. And no matter what may come against you, you have the victory, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus.